Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it more than you know. We are going to do a full body stretch and fairly quickly so that you can get on with your amazing day. And I hope it is an amazing day, you guys. So water handy if you need it. And let's just give it a go. So stepping up to the top of the mat. I just want you to kind of walk a little bit side to side. And I just want you to feel the soles of your feet against the earth. I want you to feel your posture. Are you leaning forward? Are you hunching? Are you feeling kind of tired today? If you roll those shoulders up and back and stand nice and tall, now go ahead and settle down into the soles of the feet. It helps our perspective when we stand tall, guys. Confidence, just a feeling of good and strong and healthy. Give those shoulders a big roll up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. And there those are those days, right, where we're just tired and feeling kind of ugh. So really work on that posture. Give those shoulders a good roll one more time. Inhale, reach to the sky. Cactus arms, turn your palms to front, spread your fingers wide, pull those elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift your gaze in your chest. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. We're going to do four of these. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. Inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. Inhale, reach to the sky, release that left arm down, right arm crosses the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the right. And just let that head be heavy. Let your arm be heavy. Let that gentle pull of gravity work to get that stretch down the side of your body, through the neck, the shoulder, the arm. Inhale, extend right arm, switch sides, left arm up, right arm down, cross the crown of the head and gently pull to the left. Uh, and if you hear creaks and pops and cracks, guys, as long as it's not followed or in conjunction with pain, it's all good. It's your body realigning and letting go. Uh, that's the key. Let it go. Anything that doesn't serve you today, guys, give yourself permission to release it. Inhale, extend left arm and then the right. Pull the hands to heart center and let's shift our weight to our left foot. Right knee lifts to 90 degrees and flex your foot. Breathe. Extend that leg down and lift it up. Extend it out and lift it up. So we're not necessarily touching the heel, but we're getting that nice extension of the leg and we're firing up that quad as we press through that heel one more time. And press. Lift it back to 90. Extend that left arm out, right hand supports behind that right thigh, and gently open the hip out to the side, opening that knee. Mm, mobility through that hip joint, balance and strength through that left leg and through the core. Find that breath. Gently bring it back to 90, right out in front. Pull the hands to heart center, and let's take a giant step back with that right foot giant step, controlling it down to a crescent lunge, sinking into that crescent lunge. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, sink. Hands remain at heart center, or if you like, extend those arms. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, sink. One more time, inhale, half lift, Exhale and sink, circle the arms forward, back of the hands, pull towards the back of the mat, open your chest, gaze to the sky, roll those palms towards the sky, spread your fingers in reach. Oh, strength, activating that upper back, stretching through the chest. Inhale, finish that circle and release that right hand to the inside of your left foot, rotate your body in reach, left arm to the sky, reach it up, high as you can. Oh, that rotation, guys, so good for the spine. Ringing out tension and tightness. Breathe slowly, releasing that left hand down. Circle the arms up and overhead. Pull the hands to heart center. Ooh, this is going to be a big transition, guys. All the way back up. <clears throat> Knee to 90. And flex your foot. Gently release it down. Shift your weight to your right foot. Left knee lifts to 90 and flex your foot. Core is strong. On your next exhale, press that heel out. Extend that leg. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, press it out. And lift it back up. Press it out. And lift it back up. Let's do that one more time. Press it out. 
and lift it back up, holding that knee to 90, extending your right arm out to a T, left hand to the outside or underneath that left thigh, and slowly roll that left knee open just as far as it's willing to go. Mobility through the hip joint, changing up the weight distribution for that balancing pose. Breathe. We bring it back to center, pulling the hands to heart center. Core strong, guys. We're going to manage our weight here as we press that left leg back and take a giant step back to your crescent lunge, controlled. Breathe. Nice job. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Again, we can keep those hands at heart center or extend those arms. And sink two more times. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Stay low. Circle those arms forward. Back of the hands pull towards the back of the mat as you lift the gaze and open that chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Rotate your palms to the sky. Spread your fingers wide. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale, reach to the sky, circling arms all the way overhead. Flow forward, left hand to the inside of your right foot. Rotate your body and extend right arm to the sky. Uh, so we're just letting ourselves feel all the feels, guys, whatever it is today. Some days we need a little TLC. Some days we work on strength. Some days we work on balance or grounding. Uh, sometimes we work on letting go. Pretty much every day for me. <laughs> Let go. Let go of everything that doesn't serve you. Slowly releasing that right hand down. Core strong. We lift those arms and pull those hands back to heart center. Here's that huge transition once again. Core strong. Bring that left knee forward to 90 degrees and flex your foot. And gently release it down. Arms open out to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold, relaxing the weight of the upper body. And just breathe, bringing the hands to the elbows. We hold on and gently sway side to side. Mm. A playful spirit, if you will, you guys, every time you step onto your mat, it's always an adventure. Whatever that adventure is, embrace it. It's just part of the journey, and it's all yours. No, no negativity, guys, as best you can. Just be present to wherever you are. Show yourself some grace on those days where your body's like, oof, this is rough. And then celebrate those days where it just feels easy. Center, and just let your arms be heavy. Let your arms relax. Uh, hands towards the mat. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. And inhale it to high plank. Exhale it back to down dog, keeping the core muscles strong. Inhaling it to plank. We're going to do four of these. So just move with your breath. Let yourself experience that whole top of the position. The top of the pose, get there before transitioning again. And we meet back in down dog. Find your breath. Now you can hold your down dog and alternate bending knees. Or if you want a little strength challenge here, we're going to shift our weight to our left hand. Right hand reaches back to touch those left toes or your left shin. Release the right hand. Left hand reaching back towards that right leg. And release. Right hand taps. And release. Release. Left hand taps and release one more time. Right hand taps and release. Left hand taps and release. Inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Right knee bends, left heel presses towards the mat. Uh, just let that pelvis shift, those hips shift however they like, just to get that really nice stretch all uh, through that back leg, that straight leg, and switch. Left knee bends, right heel down. 
Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. Spin your heels out, turn your toes in, and let your heels gently sink. That little pigeon toed stance with your feet. You feel that stretch through the outer ankles? That little internal rotation through your hips? What do you feel and where do you feel it? Be nice. Inhale up to the balls of the feet. Spin those heels back towards one another and let those heels gently sink. And breathe. Inhale it to high plank. Let's draw that right knee in towards the chest. I want you to hollow the chest. Lift your spine. Create space between the shoulder blades. Now we're going to cross that right leg underneath the left, outer edge of that right foot to the mat, and we rotate and reach left arm to the sky. Breathe. Find your breath. Fall in triangle. As you exhale, release that left hand down. Pull that right knee back in towards the chest. Hollow. And step it back. Right into the left. Draw that left knee in. Hollow the tummy and chest. We cross that left foot underneath the right leg, outer edge of that left foot to the mat. We rotate and reach, right arm to the sky. Reach it up high as you can. Ah, oh, just breathe. Exhaling and releasing that right hand down, drawing that left knee back in, hollow the tummy and chest. Step it back and lift those hips to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. And let's heel toe those feet out. Toes are slightly off the mat. Heels remain on and relax the weight of that upper body down. Bringing the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Now we can let those hands rest on the small of the back. If you have tighter shoulders and you happen to have your strap with you, grab it. Don't have a strap? Do you have a dog leash? Do you have a tie? Do you have a belt? Use it. And let's roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. Oh, just let those arms be heavy. A little tuck of your chin up towards your chest. Can you bring the palms to touch? If not, it's okay. Find your breath. Let go. Slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. Gently release those arms, let them hang. And then ever so slowly bend the knees. Lower your bottom down to about knee height. Oh, frog pose. Breathe. Now we can stay right here. Or we're going to take that left hand and we're going to reach it across. And I just want you to feel that really nice stretch all through that left side. A little tuck of your chin towards that right shoulder. So those knees are still open out wide. Weight is still distributed fairly evenly. So if you've had a big weight shift over to that right foot, shift it back and even it out. Now slowly walk it back to frog, lengthen through the crown of the head. And we take that right hand and we reach it across. And a little tuck of your chin towards that left shoulder. Just feel that stretch through the ribs and the waist, all the way down that right side. And again, weight distribution is even as you can. Core is strong. We pull it back into frog, lengthen through the crown of the head. As you exhale, once again, extend those legs. Ah, breathe. Let that upper body be heavy. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes. If it feels good to you, lift your heels. Be kind, be safe. And then gently release those heels back down. Rock back to your heels. And can you lift your toes? How about the balls of your feet? How much of the foot can you get off the earth as you're resting on those heels? Holy hello calves. Breathe. And release it down. Center your weight. If you're taking special care of your lower back today, bend the knees. Place your hands above the knees and gently roll yourself up. Back feels amazing and you want to strengthen it. Extend those arms out to a T. And let's hinge it all the way back up. Rotate palms to the sky, reach to the sky. Palms gently touch, spread your fingers wide, arch it back. Inhaling it up nice and tall, pull the hands to heart center. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, swan dive to forward fold.
Feet are still wide. Inhale up to monkey. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees. Let's do three push-ups. Slow and steady. Cracks and pops all over the place for me. Breathe, but no pain, so it's all good. Lift those hips to down dog. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping your right knee across to your left wrist and touch your knee to your wrist. So we're resting on our shin. We've crossed our body so that right knee is literally touching that left wrist. Now we're gonna set our bottom right next to our right wrist. So it's a little different than our pigeon pose. I'm gonna slide back just a bit because I'm gonna need some room. And that left leg can do whatever it wants to do. And I want you to sit up nice and tall and rotate as though your belly button had an eyeball in it and wants to see the very top of your mat. We have made a nice straight line across our thigh parallel to the top of your mat. Now you can choose to stay right here. Or if you like, take that left hand and let's walk it out. That right hand is there for support as much or as little as you need, reaching out through those left fingertips and then turn and place your left ear onto that left arm. Uh, so as much or as little support as you need with that right hand and just let your upper body melt. Left leg just does whatever it feels like doing. Kind of a non-event. So this is a beautiful rotation, great detoxifying pose. Just breathe. A little more gentle on the knees than our traditional pigeon pose. Wonderful for that right hip and into that lower back. And if you can really quiet your mind, amazing for wringing out any kind of negative energy. And we gently press it back up, pulling that left hand back in. We're going to extend that left leg, tuck the toes, and sweep it back. Right leg to the sky. Flex your foot, bend your knee, and draw your heel toward your bottom. Ah, oh, that feels good. Through the hip flexor, through the front of that right leg, through the quadricep, down the back of that left leg. If you like, come down onto your left forearm. Give a little push. Breathe. Find that breath. And extending that right leg, slowly releasing it down, coming back to our down dog, holding down dog or inhale it to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down, press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog, and we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. We're going to sweep that left knee across to that right wrist. Touch your knee to your wrist. So we've crossed our body. And now we're going to set that left hip right next to our left wrist. And then that right leg is just going to bend or do whatever it wants to do. We're going to prop ourselves up just as tall as we can sit and turn and take our gaze. Belly button facing towards the top center of your mat as best you can. How is that on the hip? How about the lower back? Now we can take that right hand if you like and walk it out. Reaching with those right fingertips. I need to slide back again. And then reach. Oh, left hand is there for support. A gentle turn of that right ear onto that right arm. Breathe. So we're turning away from our knee. And again, that right leg is bent or straight wherever you want it to be. It's just kind of a non-event. Don't even need to worry about it. Don't need to worry about a thing. Just let yourself melt. Slow, steady, deep breaths. Again, that left hand is there for support as much or as little as you need. So adjust however you need to. Maybe you come down onto your forearm. As we stay for a few breaths, the body starts to gently release and to let go. So let it let go. Don't fight it, but don't force it. Now you can spend a little more time or slowly walk your hands back up 
hand by the knee and by the hip. Extend that right leg, tuck your toes, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. Flex your foot, bend your knee, and draw your heel toward your bottom. And down onto that right forearm if you like. That is a wonderful pose. Love that pose. So great for bringing out tension and tightness. Extending left leg to the sky, slowly releasing it down, coming back to down dog. Let's inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. Knees can remain together, or you can open up those knees and just press it back. And breathe. Arms can be extended out in front. You can stack your hands for your forehead to rest against. You can stack fists if you prefer. You can bring your hands back by your feet and relax those arms. So just anywhere that feels good to you. Mm. And just a few breaths here to quiet, quiet the body, quiet the mind. Find that breath. Present right here. How was our practice today? How did it feel for you? Super challenging? Not so bad? Fun? How'd the body respond? Hopefully lovingly? Stay here as long as you need. Whenever you're ready, start to walk those hands up. And let's come over onto a hip. Sweep your feet around. Slide on down towards the top of your mat. Extending the legs out nice and long. Reach to the sky. Flex those feet. Lengthen. Hinge it forward. Tummy down. Chest down. Hands. And then relax the weight of your head. So my plan is to send you off on an amazing day. If it's the end of your day, I hope it's been amazing. And I hope you sleep super good. I love being able to be here for you guys. I hope, I hope, <laughs> I hope I make a difference in your day. And you'll reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. You guys make a difference in mine, so I appreciate it. And release those hands down by your sides, sitting in staff pose, working on that posture, feeling long and tall through the crown of the head. Flex those feet. Breathe. Purposeful pose. Definitely not someplace where we normally hang out. Now soften those feet. Pull the soles of the feet together to butterfly. Now it doesn't have to be a super tight butterfly. Your feet can be out and away from you a bit. And then we're just going to round it over. Let your head be heavy. Find your breath. And then slowly roll it up. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's crisscross those legs. Resting the hands comfortably wherever you like. Close your eyes. Find your breath. If you like, drip the wrists over the knees, turn your palms to the sky, and gently touch your index finger to your thumb. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Gently turn your palms to face the shins just below your knees. Let's do three cat and cows. Press it forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Press your spine towards the back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Uh, hopefully you're feeling super good. Exhale, hollow it out. One more time each direction. Inhale, press it through, arch your back. And exhale, hollow. Inhale back to center, reach to the sky. Exhale, pull the hands to heart center. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.
Be well, take care, and until the next time, the light in me honors the light in you, which means namaste.